Hi, friends. I, uh, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing today. Like, none at all. This camera is really low on me. I have to sit up, like, super straight. I'm pretty sure something happened to this camera, and it moved, because it was definitely lower before. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Oh, yes, I did set things up before I started today, but apparently not quite enough. I should bring that down just a touch. Good enough. Oh, hello. Hello, my friends. Uh, I'm going to do something in clay today, but I haven't quite decided what. Um, I don't know. I just didn't really have a specific plan. I've been so focused on getting through a couple of things that I didn't really plan for today. Um, unless there's something somebody would like me to do. I spy with my spy eye. A kiki hi, kiki hi, agent. Um, I did manage to actually finally yesterday get all these sit sprites um, edited. And so they're in the nebula. I did not get a chance to get a new nebula photo taken, but uh, the cities from um, essentially Christmas break is what I'm going to call it, um, from those two weeks before, um, they're finally all edited now and up in the nebula. Um, it took me forever, but they're there. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, hello, Marshmallow. What? What? What do you want? Are you coming up? I'm guessing you're coming up when you start talking to me. That usually means you want to come and visit. Come on. Let's start the stream this way if that's what you want. Yes, hello. Yeah. There we go. We have a marshmallow. Hello, hello, Kim. Welcome on. That light up nebby looks so good. Thank you. Why, why, ooh, why are you doing that, camera? Don't do that. Thank you, Mellow Bomb. Hello. Thank you for the marshmallow bomb. Yes. You stink like kitty litter. Why do you stink like kitty litter today? Yeah. Hi. Here, have marshmallow. Sun Cup, welcome on in. Poopy kitty. She's not poopy. Like, I literally, I did a look. Like, she she has a fuzzy butt. We do sometimes have that problem. But I checked. There was not that problem right now. <laughs> the things you have to do when you have a cat sometimes, right? Or pets in general. Hi, Marshmallow. We're going to have our mellow moment with Marshmallow this morning. We're going to start early, huh? Yeah. Are you going to groom my head again? Yeah, it seems like that might happen. Yeah, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. There'll be less hair for you to lick. Hi. Elf, elf, elf. We had a ginger cat who refused to clean his gross butt, and he was the sweetest cat of all times, though. Yeah. Gingers are not always the brightest kitties. I have had two cats in the ginger category. One was a little more buff than ginger and marshmallow. Um, and neither one of them were smart. Um, Gulliver had uh, an excuse, though. Oh, here it comes. Gulliver had an excuse, though. Um, we're pretty sure when he was a kitten, he got carbon monoxide poisoning before we adopted him. Um, he was actually even in our local paper. There had been, like, an article about how this kitten had been found. It had traveled from Downsview, Ontario, to Niagara Falls and was found at, like, the Table Rock parking lot, which is, like, a big tourist attraction in Niagara Falls. Um, and um, we saw the article in the paper, and, like, my I, I was a teenager at the time. Like, I was, like, 17 or 18. Um, and I went, and our whole family just went, and adopted him. Now, I think it might have been even a little late younger. Yeah, and we went and we just adopted this cat, and um, we named him um, Gulliver for his travels. But we're pretty sure because what had happened is he had gotten him stuck, self stuck, stuck inside the rear wheel well of the car. Whee! And we think, oh, stickers! Um, I seem to be missing this must not stand. Time to correct the oversight. Oh, yes, yes. 
The agent must be replaced, I'm guessing. <laughs> I will find that for you while Marshmallow grooms me. Um, um, yeah, so we went and we adopted Gulliver, and we think that he got mild carbon monoxide poisoning because he was never, never right. Like, he would do things like sit in corners and meow, like facing the corner and just meow at the top of his lungs. Like, he was just, he was, he was never all there. So we're pretty sure he got carbon monoxide poisoning, but he would do dumb stuff like, like not taking care of himself properly or not, or like getting himself lost in the house. And it was, it was kind of funny. Maybe he, it's possible. Um, it is possible. We are, the neighborhood I lived in growing up was haunted. Um, we all swapped stories in the neighborhood. We're pretty sure it was like a settler's family that was haunting all of us, whoever must have owned the land in the, in, in the past. Um, cause we all had very similar stories, but in my next house, I honestly think that there might, it might have, it might have also been mice in the walls that he was staring at and meowing at. So maybe he wasn't as all weird as I thought. I mean, he was. He was definitely not all there. But there may have been some more excuses than I thought. Um, yeah, I sorry. Gotta find a spy guy. Gotta, fi gotta find a spy guy. There it is. Hi. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh, other side now, right? Yeah? Yeah, thank you. Uh, here we go. And there is our spy guy. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for putting stickers up. Um, if you guys number sign sticker list uh, or ex number sign exclamation sticker list, you guys will see that all the the new cities were updated in the list. So there's there's a lot of them now. <laughs> they, we have over two hundred and like fifteen or two hundred and twenty one. I think is where I ended at. What was it? Hi. Hi. Yes, hello, thank you. Oh, there we go. Agent got it. Agent got it first. Uh, there are 220 now. 220 soot sprites to select from. Um, and I think, I think we need to um, make a sticker sheet. Oh my god, that's in my ear! Oh, marshmallow! <laughs> keeps going. Um, I want to make a sticker sheet out of some of them. This is the string now marshmallow licking my, yeah. <laughs> this, this generally happens once a stream where marshmallow will come and just groom me <laughs> and I can't do much about it. <laughs> um, at other streamers get cat cam. This is what we get, right? <laughs> well, I want to be. <laughs> she's got the spots that she needs. Like she's not. She doesn't lick the top with the long hair. She only licks the sides with the short hair. So it's more like I should do this. You want to get the back of my head? No, you like the sides, huh? Okay. There you go. <laughs> this is my cat. <laughs> this is why you pay your internet. Oh, Cam, thank you. That was quite the giggle this morning. Okay, are we done? Are we done now? No. Okay. I had planned on washing my hair before I go to the hairdresser tomorrow, but I feel bad making my hairdresser cut my cat groomed hair. <laughs> so maybe I will. Just seems a little weird. I mean, she's gonna wash my hair either way, so. <laughs> okay. We almost done here, Marshmallow? How 
ASMR is this? Can you like hear her licking? I don't know how good my mic is. Because I can hear it right in my ear. It's very ASMR. <laughs> I wish, okay. <laughs> I can't, and I'm quite happy about it. I don't like math. Oh, fair enough. Okay. All right. Can, can, can we, can we be done now? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mwah. I love you. Are you just going to sit there? Okay. You're going to sit there. Okay. That's you sit there. You sit there. We're going to figure out what we're going to do today because I really don't know. Um, hey, Deb, how are you? But enjoying the fuzz. Yeah, there's fuzz everywhere. Welcome to my life. So um, what do we want to do today? Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. We'll do that. Um, take a look through Pinterest and see... <laughs> I don't know why this is in my Pinterest feed, but hey, that's hilarious. There was a time when I could have done that. My hair was very thick. Anyways, random things I'm amused, be, amused by. All right, let's go to my actual pins of things that I've saved of things to do. Bam. We could storm pass through last night, but all is well. Yeah, we've had some, um, <laughs> I'll grow mine to do that. <laughs> um, we had a, we've had a really nasty storm rolling through here. It's all rain here. Um, I know as it goes further, farther north and Kim probably has it where, uh, they're getting a, quite a bit of store of snow up in that, that way. But, um. So what do we want to make? I, these are just a bunch of random inspirational pictures that I've saved off of random places off the internet. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I want to make, so, I don't know about necessarily today, but I do want to make, uh, we just had rain and wind. Yeah, it snowed sideways yesterday, right? Yeah, we're going to get another wicked storm this weekend. Yeah, because we've got like a ton of rain here right now. Kiki make a sloth or an axolotl. Okay. But what are we going to do with it? I like, like, is it going to be a necklace? Is it going to be a, 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 a keychain? Is it, is it going to be a, like a plant steak? I don't know. I need like real tangible ideas. I want to do something like this one of these days. I really love this and then you can cut this into smaller shapes. Um, not today. I've got to be in the right mood for that because it's incredibly repetitive. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Those earrings at the center right now. Wow, wow. Which, okay, which one? Which ones were the ones that you were wow, wow, wowing? Oh, no. Oh, go back to that. Thank you. They were right at the center. Oh, these ones? These are really pretty. Oh, yeah, the nebula lights! It does. It doesn't have the rope lights that Little Hunter got me for Christmas. Um, yeah, those are really pretty. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I can, like, like it's just a style that I really enjoyed. Um, like, the layering of, of the, the background and the background looking a little starry nightish is what really caught me on these ones. I would probably do something similar of it with, like, a starry night background. But, um... Anyways, uh, yeah, the nebula got its lights. They are not the ones Little Hunter got for me um, because I couldn't get them to work around the nebula. Like, it's thick. Like, it's like a rope like this, um, which I didn't really realize. So I found some other lights that I had around the house that I've put up for now, and they blink and they glow, and I can change the colors. So we'll do that. Um, a borb. Borb. 
Okay. So, I'm happy to make, I take suggestions of like a sloth or an axolotl, but I mean, I also want to have a thing that I'm making with. It. Also, the palette keychain is cool. Yeah, the palette keychains were really cool. I just found those recently. I also realized that I have a ton of cookie cutters, and I'm really thinking I might do some, um, like, as I'm getting ready for um, doing um, events and stuff in the summer and spring and summer is like, I really love these cookie cutter letter, like keychain things. So I'm thinking I might do some of that coming up. Not today. Cause I, I have not had a chance to dig it on my letters, but, um, I feel like we've done a lot of more abstract jewelry lately. The books, yeah, the books are cool. Um, I, I want to do, uh, I'm going to do a bunch of, like, um, teacher stuff, like, uh, end of school year teacher gifts kind of thing, so that's why that was, uh, there's a lot of that, and then there's a lot of very abstracty kind of jewelry, but I've done so much of that lately that, um, I don't know, I kind of want to do something else, so... You just did earrings, which I ordered. Yes, you did. Um, what about a necklace of some type or a plant steak or just generally not the sloth or axolotl? I don't, um, well, I don't know. I'm just not feeling particularly, um, inspired today. I don't know. Things aren't jumping out at me. You could definitely do an a necklace. I could do like one of the like little necklace and settings, kind of like when I did like the capybara. Um, do I have a picture of my cat? Well, I've got a cap a picture of the capybara in the slideshow, but I don't think I have just a random picture of it that I can throw up. Uh, but yeah, like I I could do like uh, something in a setting like I did with the capybara. I did want to try that again. I tried it again with. Um, Yeah, let's do a sloth one of those. All right. Now I need to find all my settings. I've got too many containers of things. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got I got dollar store storage containers for my cutters, so they're no longer in just a uh, a, an organized box. more time just hanging out in my things to see what I can make. Oh, you know what? That's a project we're going to have to plan one of these days is I have a bunch of pet, uh, picture frames that I wanted to make. And do like cool designs around the edges of them. start with a background. What are we going to do for the background of this law? I imagine it should probably be green and leafy. So let's, let's do a little bit of kind of, um, mm, ooh, what do I want? Do I want to do something really cool or do I want to just do like leafy greens? Hmm. Thinking, thinking. I have no idea. Okay, we're just going to start with some greens for now. Um, got some stamps, right? Textures, yes. 
maybe we put a texture behind it instead of just like leafy greens. Like I'll do it in green because that seems right, but I kind of want to do like a texture to it. So let's, let's see if there's something I like for this. No, not those. Okay. That seems good. I've got some stuff that I can make something out of here. All right. So, I'm eating some now that's what. <laughs> <laughs> why I said it fair and oh mom opened my box of frosted flakes over the weekend and just shook her head they're putting less and less in the packages and charging more money yeah it's true I mean the ear isn't totally just um, a let's hide how much stuff we're not putting in here thing that it is a freshness thing but at the same time I think they overdo it it also helps um keep them from breaking like it's its own air cushion. I should probably get the clay press out. Uh, next up in cute lurkies, no problem agents! do something interesting with the background, but I haven't quite figured out what yet. Oh, you know what? Maybe we could really do something fun with it, and we can do kind of like a slab background piece where it's like light with the kind of blobbies and stuff like that into it. Oh, I like that idea. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Do like a super super light green yeah it's like yeah like I said like I think they kind of overdo it there there is a reason for it but I'm sure they overdo it Nice, really, really light green. 
Okay, and then, so we're going to take some other greens. Speaking of currency, twenty four ninety eight, and they couldn't round it up. I know, right? Currency conversion is interesting to say the least. Sometimes, so much random little bits of green colors. <laughs> strikes again. Yeah, it absolutely does make life a lot simpler. <laughs> Alright. So, my question, my decision now to make is do I want these to look like little leaves, do I want it to be anything? Uh, yeah, I think little leaves might be nice. Or leaf like things, right? They don't need to be perfect because they're going to distort a little bit as I roll them in together. Was my elbow hitting a clay press? Also, hi, Tarnip. I don't think I actually said hello. How are you today, my friend?
Oh, thank you so much, Deb. Thank you for giving a shout out for our friend Turnip. We need to figure out how to do like the better shout outs where it like makes it practically an announcement and it does the the other things with it. You have already been up here and cleaned my head this morning. You can stay down there. <laughs> oh, you know what? Are you, oh, you're upset because there is no stool in front of the window. You can't get into it. That's my fault. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. I borrowed your stool yesterday. Is that what you want? Yes, that one. We need to do those more. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm a learning those things. Right, Marshmallow? Right? No, you're not coming up here. I, I got you a stool so you can go in the window. You're not coming up here. No. No. Lots of meetings this morning and then off to the library to pick up the next book of the kiddos dragon book series. Ooh, fun. My kiddos got a couple of dragon books that they like. There's like a dragon riders one and um, wings of fire, I think is another one. <laughs> I think you can like right click on a username and do it that way as well. Um, or if you like click on a name and then there's, no, not there, I thought there was a, all right, cool. Empress, welcome back. Good to see you, friend. I'm waiting for the doctor. I think I have a doozy of a... Oh, no, that is no fun. I had that sinus infection a couple weeks back. It was brutal. I am thankfully mostly better from that now and have been able to start using a neti pot again and to clear out my sinuses because I am bound and determined. Marshmallow! What? I, no! We already had mellow top moments with Marshmallow this morning. I'm trying to talk to Empress about her sinus infection. If you're so interested in the window, go to it. Cats. She was very determined, Mom. <laughs> what? Just go to the window. I put your stool back. I'm sorry I had it for so long. She was definitely determined. Oh my gosh, cat. What am I ever going to do with you? Okay, could you not, not write on the art? Yup. <laughs> Hi. Uh, taking the day off for sure. I've been burning the candle at both ends for the last two months. Maybe eating, drinking water, and sleeping through the night would help. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's mighty tough with littles, though. No, I'm... Marshmallow. We love you very much, but you're being quite a pain right now. 
like she got right into it. Can you be done now, please? You have no clue, do you? Like, just none. <laughs> yep, that's my marshmallow. Look, it's you. Look, it's you. Look, it's you bouncing all over my screen. That looks like it might just land real good, too. Yes. Okay. I love you. Can you please vacate the premises? Look, there's a whole window for you up there. Mm. Yes, I love you, too. Get out of my way. Uh, yeah, she's going to get a yeet soon, but I need to make sure she knows I love her before I eat her. No, no, we're not getting back into grooming my head. We are not doing that again. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on. You've had enough time this morning. There you go. Oh, cats. I politely ask you to vacate the premises. Yeah. <laughs> she just sit behind me. Now she's going to come back up. I'm pretty sure she's going to just, just come back. Now I have fur all over my face again, and it's tickling my chin. I am definitely going to need to um, take an allergy pill when I go upstairs for 11 Z's. So the old chair that I was using before I went and uh, started using the stool that I'm on right now is still in the studio. It's just sitting off camera over here. She has taken to still laying in that. Like, she's always been the kind of cat who will, like, sit in my chair. I'll come downstairs, and she's in my chair all the time. Um, and I'll have to kick her out so I can sit down. So now she's still in the chair, and I'm just not using the chair anymore, and I think that this might be in a good arrangement for us both. Oh, oh yeah, she got back up and in my face and everything again. She was uh, being marshmallow, but we uh, we we politely yeeted her pretty quickly because <laughs> she was like right into my uh, her her toes were like right here. She was pretty much standing on it, and then she tried to lick my head again. So I'm like, no, we are not doing that. Bye bye. Yeah. 
She's my cat. And she's being cute today. I think that that's probably pretty good right there. I posted this last Lego build in a Facebook group I'm in, and it's got 140 erections. Awesome! That's cool. It's always nice when people are like, yeah, that's awesome. And you can just like, thanks, peeps. There's a reason why you're my peeps. <laughs> try and get it at least mostly in place before I do. Just kind of getting an impression of where um, it's going to be so I can cut it out. Alright, because of course Nightbot is landing. It has a wheelchair mini doll and the building portion has a lift for her to get to the second level of that Awesome. Good job, Lego, for inclusivity. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I also want to drop. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Need to get some of those like little precision um, cutting tools for this kind of stuff.
All right. Ooh, good land. I I bought it for the mini doll, and when I realized I was building a lifted map for her, oh, I wanted to cry. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, rigged. <laughs> okay. All right. So I like that. What are we going to texture this with? Do I just want to do like a rough texture, I think? Yeah. Just like um, sandpapery kind of thing. Um... Do I want to try the sponge again? Right, the sponge left a little dust in it. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, the sandpaper I have kind of does too because it's cheap. All right. Well, I guess we'll do it with our paintbrush then like we usually do. Should actually probably be doing this in the setting just because I can see it distorting a little bit and at least I can get it to distort into place if I do it that way. So I'm just going to put this in and then I will like trim it up after. On the edges. All right, it's good. It's mostly set down. All right. That seems pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to just clean up the edges here a little bit. Oh, I meant to hit the be right back button, but um, at least I get the mute button. <laughs> um, not fast enough, but. I'm gonna do it in just a second. I'm actually gonna heat up, thank you, um, the um, oven because I'm gonna bake this before I put a slob onto it.
So I feel like I want this sloth to be doing something kind of silly. Like wearing a bowler hat or something equally as absurd. How is our sloth going to be absurd today? If we get a lot of good suggestions, maybe we'll do a poll. Let's see if I can figure out how to do one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Testing sound. Okay. Sound does seem to be working. That seems pretty good. So much sinus swelling, yeah. No sound, it's just me, okay. Okay, that's weird, I'm sorry. Um, also, we're gonna have our ad roll in about three minutes. Um, and then um, I'm able to hear, sorry, having, yeah, yeah. Like, it seems to be working okay, so I don't know why. All right, oh, my nose is so itchy. Okay. Alright, so this is going to go into the oven as soon as it's heated up. No, it goes the opposite way. Something goes into the oven and then gets heated up. If the oven has to be heated first. Hunter's trying to be sassy over there. Oh, yes, Hunter, of course. Hunter being sassy. Yes, that is your default setting, is sassy. <laughs> it's not even a joke. That is what life is around here. <laughs> Stop dinking around while I'm trying to... Like, the texture is so subtle, but it's, it'll look real nice when it's finished. Instead of being, like, an thing. All right, so, oven is preheated. I'm going to pop this in. Hunter sass never, right? in for a few minutes. It doesn't need to go in for my full time because it's going to get a second bake once there is a sloth on it. And we need something else for to work on sloth while that is in the oven. And where, uh, I'm going to grab another one of the settings just so I have a reference size while it's not here.
to you soon. It looks like sand. It's a little like sand. All right, so now let's put these greens back and get them out of my way. Hold on one second. All right, and Hunter is off to work. Fuck off, Lock. Fuck off. Well, hello, Lock. How are you today, my friend? <coughs> All right, so now we need browns and tans and probably a little bit of black and white. I have a little white there already, so that's fine. And probably some of this off white. All right, we are in our ad, so I'm gonna throw up 11 Z's and I will be back in just a few minutes, my friends.
All right, we are back. This came out of the oven while we were away. Turn on the soup I'm having for lunch later. Oh, nice. I have no idea what I'm going to be having for lunch later yet. Uh, someplace the cat won't step on it. These away too, right? Let's also get this out of my way. Don't work well when everything is cluttered around me. Safe for me to you know, use the oven or stove so I reheat things in a little two quart slow cooker. Oh, that's nice. That works well. All right, that seems good. Okay, so I like the texture. It feels real nice. Okay, so we're gonna get up a picture of a sloth. have a good sloth reference photo. Excellent. Now, it's moderately safe or too fast. Absolutely, right? And honestly, sometimes something like that will heat things nicer because it does a nice even distribution and it just is nice better that way. Those do look a little like leaves. I like them. Yeah, I think it's like just enough, a little bit abstract, a little bit cutesy. It'll make a nice background, right? All right, so our sloth, again, okay, so what are we going to do that's absurd? Like, I want something silly or absurd to be going on with this sloth. Like, is, do we want to put him in a hat? Is he holding something? I don't know, because I want to do essentially, like, the bust of a sloth. Like, the head and maybe shoulders of the sloth in this. Kind of like I did with the capybara. Where's my capybara? I'll show you guys the capybara. Um, it's not it. Oh, a monocle. So there's my capybara, who has just got a little pumpkin on his head. A monocle and a top hat. Okay. Monocle might be a little tough. I think I can do it. I've done monocles before on... Did we do one on a soot spray? No, but I would do the same concept that I did for the magnifying glass for um, Agents Sooty. Uh, a bow tie or a ruffled collar. Ooh, okay. Uh, I uh, I'll probably, like, I'm trying to decide, like, either monocle or bow tie. Like, I think it's, like, fancy cane handle, maybe. Maybe. Okay. I agree with the gents. <laughs> Top hat and mustache. I don't think I want to do a mustache. I think the mustache would be weird. I don't think I could do the mustache justice. Um Monocle first option with the top hat. Yeah, I like I don't mind the monocle and the top hat. A dapper sloth would be amaze balls. Maybe I kind of want to do more like a bowler hat. What is a like right with the monocle? Which is I mean it's got top hatty styles right, but not quite the same. 
Oh, can I pull that off? That's the question. All right, I will definitely do the monocle. I'm not 100% sure about the bowler hat yet. Maybe I end up doing a bow tie if I can't get the bowler hat to work. Okay, so let's work on this a little bit. We'll leave our, we'll leave our friend around here for inspiration. Have you seen the guy doing the Renaissance Pokemon oil paintings recently? They're so good. I don't think I have. Turnip, please feel free to drop us a link. Um, if you're in the Discord, the best place for that would be the um, brain. Um, that thing we talked about on stream. But if you're not in the Discord, I'm not 100% sure if you are or not. Um, you can just drop a link here. That's fine. Uh, of course you can. You can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. Um, that's debatable. My art skills still need to match my abilities. <laughs> but, okay. So let's see. So we're going to start with kind of like a tanny color. And then I'm going to end up, I think what I'll probably do more than anything is darken this with chalk pastels. And I think that that'll probably be... I need a little bit of a darker brown first. And then I'll, maybe I'll put a little bit of a lighter paint on it too. Jokum on odd.art uh, on Instagram. I will have to look that up now before I forget. I just dropped my clay somewhere. Hold on. Yes. Clay. All right. Do, 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 do. I will, those are spectacular. Yes, I see a Charmander in a bowler hat. Oh my God, I love the, how they did the hair out. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nope, that's not the link I want to move over here. This is, there we go, okay, hold on. Uh-huh. That is spectacular. That is just so creative to do the hair as like the wig. I hadn't planned on actually pulling this up. I was just gonna follow. I know, right? <laughs> I wasn't gonna pull it up and then it was amazing and I had to. Oh my gosh. Kels has seen this, right? Please tell me Kels has seen this. This again, this is my life now, right? <laughs> Please follow this ridiculously amazing artist. Oh my gosh. Oh, um, all oh, the Psyduck. That is fabulous. Here, you can't really see the Lapras. I'll bring that one up. Furry collar and pearls. <laughs> And the, uh, is that Kadabra or Alakazam? Alakazam, sorry. It does actually say it right there. It helps if I read. Is that not phenomenal? Oh, look at your manner in the background. Charmander. Char. <laughs> of course, there would be Chansey as a nursemaid. Because what else would Chansey be, right? Right, so I need that purple coat. Oh yeah, the purple coat on the on the Alakazam. Yeah, that's awesome. Those are spectacular. I um I just may need to see if they make prints. That that might have to happen at some point in my future if there are prints available. Okay, that was fabulous. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to doing some work, but uh, thank you for that wonderful detour. <laughs> yes, I know, right? Like, that is spectacular. Like, I totally want one of the Magikarp prints. 
That is just beautiful. Okay. All right. Let's let's make a sloth in a bowler hat. Hi, Previs. Welcome on in. What are those lovely arts? They're apparently an artist on Instagram who is doing Renaissance style oil paintings of Pokemon and they are my life now. I know. It's just, it is so good. So good. Okay. All right. Let's, let's make a sloth. Where's my sloth picture? All right. All right. My awkward beginning stage where I'm not even entirely sure what I'm doing and how I can get it to look the way it should look. Thank you so much for shouting out, Kim. Capybara. That's a snoozy capybara. Wait, what? I should have done that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not too picky about it. But thank you. I am quite happy. All right. So what are we gonna do now? Sun cup. Yeah. Enjoy your dinner, Sun cup. Have a good one. Thanks for popping in. All right. I want it to look mostly realistic, much like I did with the capybara, but not like necessarily photorealistic. Nightbot, stop rigging the game. Like you've been landing repeatedly today. Oh, did I get it backwards? No, there it is. Okay. I guess it uh, <laughs> overrides. You know, they only list them once because Nightbot has landed like three times today. I don't know. No one is taking attendance and you don't know anyone anything. Just live your life. You perfect cup of sun. Yeah, exactly. Yes, we're all, yeah, we all need to. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, oh, yeah. We all do that. I feel awful sometimes, but yeah, like, we totally do that. It happens a whole lot more than I would like because, of course, children. <laughs> okay, all right. Sloth heads. Sloth heads. Sloth shoulders is the question. Okay. There ish. Okay. Speaking of butts, just so everybody knows, now that there's a few more people here than when we announced it earlier, um, we did finally, thank you, um, the capybara was a previous uh, one that I did, it was an offline art that I made, but, um, yeah. Brain, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I did finally get all of the sooties edited and um, in the sticker list. So there is a butt sooty that can be plastered on my screen now if anyone is so inclined. Can I be in sleep lurk? Yes, you can most definitely be in sleep lurk. Wee! Wee! A 
are we butting up a butt? We're butting up a butt. Excellent. <laughs> I has feet. Where did it? There it is. There's our butt. There we go. We have a butt city. Yeah, I don't think we have a sleeping city. Okay. <laughs> you guess that's allowed, right? Only sometimes. Get sleeping. I see you're actually actively not sleeping though. Yes, please. Please sleep if that is what your body needs. That's not too bad. Okay, all right. I mean, I'm still at the rough shaping stage, but... sleep friend feel better I know how hard that is as a mom you're like but I could be doing mom things no go sleep I am sometimes pro lurker even pretending to type in the chat of uh, actually typing into it but that's not always on purpose um, I often accidentally type in chats <laughs> Or I'll start to type in chats and then I'll change my mind because I think I'm going to sound weird if I type when I'm actually typing. <laughs> so I lurk a lot.
Signs you have a cat in your house when you find teeny tiny bits of clay, teeny tiny bits of hair embedded in your clay. Yeah, I'm talking to you. She knows I'm talking to her and she won't look at me. <laughs> Is that where I'm going to have to change the cat cam to is over there now instead of in the window? I mean, I could do that. I need a longer USB cable, but I think I've said this to you before. I love watching you. It's so awesome seeing the pieces come to life. Oh, thank you. I wish I could do the pieces the justice they deserve sometimes. Sometimes I really feel like I can't. Locke does that all the time, even better though. He's pro lurking in five streams, and when he does type, it's in the wrong Lock stream. Off. Lock. Lock off. I have most definitely done that as well. But also, I'm sorry, I am uh, sometimes very bad at uh, accepting um, compliments. Thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't say that before. I think I didn't. I just went into, Fuck like, off. I'm not Fuck good at it. And, and yeah, I need to be better at taking compliments. Thank you. Someone gives me a compliment and half imposter syndrome, half mo Canadian modesty takes over. And I'm just like, <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm not that good. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think a lot of people do. Um, what's going on on the speckled background? It's literally just a speckled background. Um, I kind of wanted it to look a little like leaves. And it's just got like a, a sandy texture. Yeah, that's where the sloth will go. I'm just using this one as a guide reference, so I'm not, um, 
so like uh, because this one is textured I don't want to do this work on this back because with the texture like the clay kind of will get smooshed into there and it might lose some of its crispness um, so I'm kind of doing the work on this back just so that doesn't happen um, I need to blow my nose give me one second friends Okay, better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. Empress is uh, doing the dad joke thing. I should have put myself on the stage to read that out. Did not think that far ahead. Now doing the nap lurk thing and turning off my chat so I actually try to sleep. Good. Please sleep. Please sleep. I try to be quiet so Empress can sleep. Nightbot, you? Seriously. <laughs> Although it looked like moon landed. <laughs> um, oh, what did I miss? Oh, maybe... Ooh, maybe I can do a seasonal series of sloth pendants. Spring with an umbrella, rain background, summer with the sun background, glasses, fall with the leaves, winter with the snow and a beanie, earmuffs and a scarf. Oh, that's fun. I do like the idea of doing, like, seasons. I'm not sure I would definitely do it with the sloth. Um, but I do like the seasons idea. Hold up a second. Um... That is an excellent idea. Not sure exactly what I would do with that, but I like the idea in general. Cool beans. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I guess we could. <gasps> or a Totoro. Nah, maybe not a Totoro. I have to remember to do things less in ju just exactly where my nerdy brain goes and do stuff a little more <laughs> mainstream sometimes. Andy dandy notebook time, yeah. Well, all of my, like, art ideas that I haven't really started developing them, just kind of taking notes on, go into, like, a text file on my phone. The notes are more things, like, to do and, and stuff like that, like, various things like that. I have, like, an entire text file on my phone that is just various art ideas. <laughs>
I know, right? <laughs> Love that text file. And I, I like keeping it as a text file on my phone because my phone is pretty much with me at all times. So anytime I get like a little bit of inspiration, um, I can just be like making notes about it. Um, and that particular app does also like let me do little um, drawings and things like that if I needed to or use pictures and stuff like that. So I find it to be a pretty handy dandy little thing. It's also where I like make my shopping lists and stuff like that because... As a person with ADHD, everything is lists for me. It's how I function. <laughs> I would not function without them. I know this looks a little more normal head-like as opposed to sloth head-like, and I'll fix that up in a second, but as I go. I think maybe I've got a little more chest than I need, but then if I have the hat, it'll stick out a little bit, and that's probably a good thing. I think what I might do is make the neck a little longer. I keep this in my text files. Nice. Nice. I appreciate being something important enough to you that you save it in your text files. That's actually quite touching. <laughs> I guess now that we actually know what we're doing, I should probably maybe update that in the stream info. Uh, let's do, we're doing a... change the pants. Alright, there we go. <laughs> yeah, go back to lurking. Stop. Maybe, maybe you should pick a channel to lurk on that is uh, less enticing to chat in. <laughs> you know you care about someone, you're like, Go lurk elsewhere so you can sleep. Because I know you like having the background noise on while you're trying to rest. <laughs> but if we're making you want to chat too much, <laughs> pick somewhere else. Alright. Maybe, maybe you should lurk somewhere else, friend. <laughs> I know, I love you too. <laughs> All right. 
I don't know. Maybe I need the... Yeah, I've got too much neck neck. It needs to... I think I need it to be this long, but it needs to be filled in a little more. I've made too much of a head shape and not enough of a bulk shoulder look. There we go. That's better. Excellent. Thank you so much, Deb. Appreciate it. Yeah, I am definitely an advocate. If you have Prime, use it somewhere. I don't care if you use it here. I don't care if you use it somewhere. Use it somewhere. <laughs> if you've got a Prime sub, use it. <laughs> Give somebody Amazon's money back. that I imagine it's our other lurker who is usually being sweet <laughs> Deb Deb would you like a city Thank you very speed being for taking care of our friend Deb. What would you do you have ideas for this city or would you like to pick one off the list? Ah, yeah, I need the space. Too many commands, too many play. Oh, I know. All right, we're going to do a baseball cap. I like it. Do you have a color preference? Do we want it purple? Or do you have, like, a team color you'd like to do it in? I need to clean up my fingers a little before I use the white. 
How about my second favorite? Lime bright green. I think it's got some lime green. I think I have something pretty bright. Kind of like what we were using in here. I've got that. Mm. Let's see. work. Excellent. Okay. Nightbot's on a roll today, just stealing all of the lands. Um, ones in ball caps generally need to go a little bit lower with the eyes. So there is room for said ball cap. Alrighty, and I need some black paint. This shaky camera. Yeah. Trying to remember how I've done these before, so. Oh, excellent! Empress will be appreciative. <laughs> No, do not come out of Lurk. Sleep. Huzzah! Huzzah! No! Go back to sleep! <laughs> we should read the Samuel L. Jackson bedtime stories. Go the F to sleep. I do have a copy of it. I think. I didn't give it to my brother-in-law today. Pretty sure I still have a copy of it. We did 100% uh, read It's a Little Hunter before they were old enough to understand words. <laughs> actually Samuel L. Jackson's bedtime story. I think it was written and somebody managed to get Samuel L. Jackson to read it because 
Of course you would. Um, but I don't think Samuel L. Jackson actually had anything to do with the authoring of it. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's written by Adam Mansbach. But, um, in a stroke of brilliance, of course, they managed to get Samuel L. Jackson to read it. Yes, I, I heard about it. I didn't act, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about it. I didn't, um, I didn't actually see it, but when I, I was, uh, hanging out with JC a little last night and they were talking about it. Oh yeah, absolutely, right? Like, there's no better person to have narrated that book than Samuel L. Jackson. There is a Netflix documentary um, on the history of swearing, and it's um, hosted by Nicolas Cage, which is just hilarious as it is. Um, but they do, uh, refer to Samuel L. Jackson as the king of fuck. <laughs> and it is appropriate. I love documentaries. I got very excited when I found that one. <laughs> I think he may have done the official one. I'm not entirely sure. But I think he did. I know, like, there is, um, like, recordings of it on YouTube of him reading it. So, I think so. Hold on. We can find this out. On the Audible book, um, it's narrated by Samuel L. Jackson, so it does appear that he did the official one. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was like a documentary series, so there was like three or four, I think, like, shorter episodes, and it was pretty well done. I enjoyed it. But I am just a fan of um, documentaries in general, so. One of these days I really have to look up, um, I think it's called Discovery. It was the, like, documentary streaming service. <laughs> Luffy, Luffy R17, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, friend. Thank you for the hydrate, friend. As my eye watched so many super random, like, left side, then left side, yeah. That, is that it? Oh, it's Curiosity Stream is what it's called. That's what I want to look into. Do I leave that link up so I remember to actually look into it later? Okay. So. 
Let's finish this city. And pull it a hat on. too big yet. I don't have two lefts. I mean right. I, I just mean my genres vary so much. Oh yeah, absolutely. My uh, genres <laughs> vary pretty widely too. About the only documentaries I don't tend to watch are... Um, true crime that's like about murder and stuff like that because I really feel like that's overly exploitative I mean a lot of people like true crime and I can't fault them for that it is often pretty interesting um, but I don't know I just for me I can't do that kind of thing it feels too exploitative I do like the true crime ones that are someone telling their own story or being a part of the story being told because that feels a lot less exploitative to me. Um, but yeah, there's always a little of that that you got to think about or that I think about when I'm watching a documentary. I love, um, I watched a lot of like vet shows, documentary shows for a while. I guess that would be more like um, uh, reality TV, but I like those too. I like a lot of the documentaries that are clearly, obviously the space ones are ones that I really like, but we all know that. Um, but I also really like the ones that are like about social issues and how that impacts everybody. And cults. I really like watching the cult ones. I don't know why. I think cults are fascinating, like how easily humans get wrapped up in that kind of thing. Alright, and I feel like we need to put a little something on this baseball cap. So we all know what's going on here. Especially since it's green, just like Andrew's shirt, right? A baby sooty or a sooty butt? A sooty, just a little sooty.
It's even low over the eyes like I wear mine, right? It's kind of the way I got to do it for cities to make them really low just because otherwise there is enough room to really get the detail in there. But yes, it does work out that way nicely. I swear to butt, not butts, Nightbot, you are going overboard on your lands today. Share the wealth, friend. There we go. Little itty bitty soot sprite. Sut Sprite on a baseball cap on a sooty. It's like Sut Sprite Inception. Hey, Jumatron, welcome on in. Good to see you there, friend. Maybe you'll uh, actually land and uh, we'll throw Nightbot off this track. Who like, Nightbot has landed like six or seven times today. Like, it's been ridiculous. Let's try again. Let's see if I can try one. All right, let's get this green out of the way for now. And we'll go back to working on our little sloth. All right, you can come over here, friend. Hang out over here with our capybara. There you go. A commission? No, just for funsies. I didn't really have a plan today. So I'm like, hey, what are we going to make today? And we kind of all decided we were going to put a sloth on in an absurd situation. So he's going to have a monocle and a hat. We're clearly not going to get this finished today. We'll probably finish it up on Friday, but eh, we're having fun. We're doing something for funsies. This was a capybara that I did a while ago, and it's like the same kind of style that I'm going for, where he's independent, although this one is clearly a little bit more whimsical, so. I may or may not have, yes, well. <laughs> I did ask for suggestions, so that's totally perfect. All right. I really do want to do some more, like, crowd-sourced things. Um, but because, like, clearly my work goes at a much slower pace than most other artists, I kind of got to figure it out. So I'm, I'm going to try to do, at some point, like, a longer stream that we can do for funsies, where we can do, like, okay, we're going to take this suggestion and put this into it kind of thing. But add this weirdness and that. I'm not quite sure where to go with it just yet. So, so this sloth is eventually going to go on this. Um, it, I'm just building it on here so I don't um, smoosh it into the background too much because there's texture and I don't want it to make a mess. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, my stomach's been doing pretty well lately. Um, now that I've switched to dairy-free... So I'm slowly getting a lot of my health problems resolved. My sinus infection is better. My um, tonsils are finally better. 
So, I've had a lot of health problems lately, aren't, haven't I? <laughs> but I'm doing better. I'm doing, yeah, the, uh, this, I've finally been able to, I finally got the tonsil problem cleared enough that I was able to start doing the sinus rinse again, because you can't really do it when you're sick, because it can sometimes just push the infection further into your sinuses. Um, so I had to stop neti potting for a while, and I finally feel like I'm clear enough that I can start again, because my sinuses have been a mess lately, and I really, really need to do something to fix it up. I'm at that age where I now have to work hard to have half-decent health. Yay. Alright. Alright, and so now we kind of need to figure out, I feel like his head needs to be slightly wider, but I don't, then I tend to need to make his neck slightly wider, so I'm not sure I want to do that. Yes, I mean, and that's true. A lot of people do have a lot harder time to, they have to work at it. I uh, have definitely come to, like, a point in my older years where um, I recognize a lot more that um, health isn't something we should as a society aspire to like it's not a virtue like most people are like oh yeah you know you you know you're working for your good health and i mean good health is important but it's not a virtue it's not something we should hold up as a high regard because there are some people who literally will never be able to achieve that and that's totally fine that's life for some people. And I think a lot of people think of like health, being in good health as a virtue. And it really shouldn't be because that's, it's just not something everybody can aspire to, whether they want to or not. I don't think I'm saying that right, but I think you know what I'm getting at.
Sue's been on for an hour. It'll, it'll be ready soon. I almost have the timing down totally. Excellent. I'm glad that works for you. Oh my god, my nose is still so itchy from marshmallow. I forgot to take my allergy pill when I went upstairs for 11 Z's. Soup take longer with most things. An hour is uh, on low. It's plenty hot for me. I have a different temperature gauge than most people. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I'm I'm used to making soup for my, you know, my single digit child who generally likes their soup cooler as well. Like still warm but cooler. So it's no different than. Not to say that it's because it's a childish thing. It's just. I mean, I get it. Not everybody likes their soup that hot. My kid does not, for example. Alright. Oh my god, my nose. Give me a second, friends. Soup is quite nummy. It is my favorite food. Well, Laurel, or well, Little Hunter was at Nana's. Um, they sent me a text message. They're like, "What's your favorite food?" And I don't even know why. I'm not sure why they asked specifically. Um, I guess Nana was asking for some reason, and um, I, my response was soup. <laughs> it used to be rice pudding, but I can't have dairy, and I haven't found a really good non-dairy alternative rice pudding yet. So. Um, <laughs> It's homemade turkey slow soup that mommy slot. Ooh, yummy. Homemade soup is excellent. I don't make turkey soup a lot because I, I don't actually cook turkey, but um, anytime, like, I have a large bird, I will definitely make a broth from it and then make soup. All right. Let's try and figure out where our little facey bits are going to go. Because I'm going to do this as, um, what is it, a two-toed, three-toed sloth with the face? Yeah, I will always be happy when people uh, send or bring me soup. Agent knows my love of soup. 
we celebrated my very first, um, when I first got affiliate and, uh, the agent donated, made a donation to me for, I think it was for Christmas that year, because I had made affiliate just shortly before. And, um, made a donation. <laughs> and I got soup for it, because Hunter was like, yes, if you get a sub, I will go and get you soup. And so instead, Agent made a donation, and then I got soup, and it was great. And then eventually, Agent did sub, and then I got soup for that too, and it was great. <laughs> I celebrate with soup. <laughs> Two and three toads lost a very similar faces. It's literally the toes that are different. Right. Um, well, because the I think it's the three toad sloth that have, like, the darker patches on the circles, and two toad sloths have, like, the full tan face. I think that's the way it goes. Because not all sloths have um, the change of tone in the face. I mean, the face structure, structure is clearly very similar. It's just that there's a difference in the fur. Yeah, <laughs> but the, yeah. <laughs> I know it is fascinating that they grow moss on them. They're a whole little ecosystem. Yes, once a week. I think it's once a week that they um, shimmy down their tree and dance at the bottom of it. It literally looks like they're dancing. And then they slowly climb back up. It's a process that takes them several hours, which is why they only do it once a week. Very slow metabolisms. Clearly, I've watched documentaries on sloths. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it wouldn't be so bad, right? can't find the right tool. There it is. Yeah, absolutely. I can imagine it would be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> and uh, you may not want to go as often. I'm definitely in a boat right now where I wish I could go a little less often, but that's because I need to see a urologist. <laughs> I've been waiting for like six months now for my referral. <laughs> There we go. Now we're starting to look a little more sloth-like, right?
He's sloth. He is sloth. So the eyes let's see, so his nose is pretty much smack dab in the middle of his face. Looking somewhere there ish. Right? No, that is definitely needs to be lower. There. Hmm, slothy face. All right, and then like this with the eyes. Does that seem about right? Good stuff. Okay, so now that I know more or less where I'm going with it, because then I can figure out the monocle and stuff like that, so. Um, it, it might be a little tricky, but I should be okay. Um, there's a little texture to this, so I should be able to get it up. Now is probably not a bad time to start working on and off, though. So I don't end up with a bigger problem once I start getting texture into it. Yeah, like there are some, because like I knew that I wouldn't be able to get it too much. It wouldn't be too, too bad, so. Also, you know, I've learned how to be delicate and, and stuff like that, and that helps. Sorry, friends, the downsides of being allergic to your cat, especially when they insist on being in your face. All right. A 
I think I need to change the camera angle here because it's totally got me out of shot as I'm over here. So, hold on. Is that better? Am I not totally out of frame now? All right. Almost better. 